Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impression of a bunch of new makeup. It's mostly Coastal Scents and I've never tried anything from their brand before so this is a first impression not only to these products but to this brand in general. And then I also have a couple other products including the new L'Oreal Infallible Loose Powder and I'm going to be doing a flash test for that product as well. So if you are interested in finding out what I think of all of these products then just keep on watching. Okay so the first product I'm going to be testing is another new product from L'Oreal but I didn't want to test it in my L'Oreal video because it's a powder and I was already testing the primer and I can only really test one face product at a time and get an accurate test because otherwise you don't know what product is making what difference. So the only product I had left to test from L'Oreal is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Powder. So this is supposed to set your makeup. It says it's micro fine. The only thing that makes me nervous is that it has silica and talc in it. So I'm really hoping there isn't going to be a significant flashback, but we are going to test that. I'm going to take a photo with flash and see if it has flashback because it is that white color, which does make me a little bit nervous. So on one side of my face, I'm going to be using my number seven loose setting powder on the other side I'm going to use this new one so that we can see if there's a difference at the end of the day as well as if there is a difference in the flash photography so I'm going to use the L'Oreal one on the right side of my face I'm just going to put some in this lid and then apply it using my elf beauty sponge and I'm going to apply a good amount just so that we really can test the flashback so it's definitely setting my makeup nicely the only thing I'm noticing is that it's leaving these little white little chunks on my face. It's like the product is balling up because of my damp sponge, which I don't usually have that problem with any other translucent powders. I don't know if you guys can see the little white chunks. So I'm just going to dust those away if I can. So I think it definitely looks great. It was easy to apply. The only issue with application, like I said, is that it did ball up a little bit using my damp sponge. All right, now I'm gonna do number seven on the other side of my face, just so we can kind of compare. And right out the gate, I think both sides of my face look pretty much the same, so we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. The only thing I do notice is that this feels a lot lighter than this, so I looked at the amount of product you're getting, and in the number seven one, you get 0.7 ounces, and then in this one, you get 0.28. So you're not getting a whole lot of product in here. So when you're looking at the price comparisons, definitely keep that in mind. I don't have a new bronzer to try, so I'm just gonna use my Total Face Palette by e.l.f. and one of my BH Cosmetics brushes and bronze up a little bit. Okay, and then for blush, Coastal Scents actually sent me some products. I've never tried any of their products before, so I'm excited to give them a try. And one of the things that they sent me are all of these individual like blushes and highlighters and then this empty case. So I guess you just pop one of these out. So this is the blush in the shade Romance. And you just pop it out of the plastic it comes in and it's just like one of these little pods and then you just put it in here. Oh, and it's magnetic, so it stays. This shade looks pretty. This is called Flan, or Flan. Looks like a nice neutral blush shade. And then this one is called Canyon Clay. This is a little more of like a mauve blush color. It reminds me of the ColourPop Between the Sheets shade. And then there's three like shimmery ones. This first one is a highlighter called Croissant. Croissant. And then a bronzer called Glazed Ginger. And I didn't use this as my bronzer because it's a very shimmery bronzer. Looks more to me like a highlighter. And then this blush called Exuberant. And this is a very shimmery, very bright blush color. So this is like a very daring color. So that's what the palette looks like with all the different shades in there. These three are like matte blushes and then these three have shimmer. I feel like this bronzer would be nice in the summertime when you want a bronzy glow. But I have other highlighters to test so I'm just going to use the blushes. And I think today I'm going to mix these two colors right here. I'm going to do that on this small Wet n Wild powder brush. This is definitely my type of blush shade. It's not too pink. Like it definitely brings color into the face, but it's not like a bright pink. But I love those two shades kind of mixed together. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. And then for highlighter, I have these e.l.f. Highlighting Holographic Duos. I have three. So first we have Mermaid Tail, which is like a lavender and a pink. And then we've got Blue Lagoon, which is a green and another kind of lavender shade. And then lastly, we've got Siren's Call, which to me looks like the most wearable. This is kind of like a bronzy shade and a champagne shade. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's the standard e.l.f. packaging, but the e.l.f. where it says e.l.f. is actually holographic. Oh, this looks so different in the pan. Like on here, it looks like it's going to be a bronze color. And then in the pan, it looks pretty much orange. All right, so I'm going to go for this color right here, this kind of like white shade. It looks like the safest bet. Okay, so this kind of has a little bit of a yellowy 
greeny shift to it. It's definitely very pigmented and definitely holographic, but not really my cup of tea in terms of shade. So let's try another one. Let's try this mermaid tail one. Okay, let's go for this kind of pink shade in here. I feel like I keep trying holographic highlighters to test them for you guys, but holographic highlighters just aren't my thing. I know they're the trend right now. I just can't really get on board with it. So I think I'm gonna go in with this highlighter also, just to kind of layer on top. Definitely more of a subtle highlight. Definitely reminds me of the Essence Pure Nude highlight. Not gonna give you that like BAM highlight, but I know a lot of you guys like that type of highlighter, so if that's your thing, I think you'd really enjoy this one. Alright, next up I have a palette from Coastal Scents. This is the Safari Dreams palette. I've never tried, like I said, never tried anything from this brand, so I have no point of reference with their eyeshadows. There is no mirror in here, but the colors look really, really vibrant. Definitely very colorful palette, and I'll swatch this full palette for you guys so you can see what all of the shades look like. But for today's look, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this lightest one right here and just put that all over the lid to kind of give us a base to work from. All right, next I'm gonna take a smaller, more dense blending brush. This is one by ColourPop and this matte brown shade right here and take that through the crease. And I'm gonna take that original blending brush to kind of blend as we go. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer. I just realized you're pretty far away. Just adding a little bit more and blending. All right, next I'm gonna take this shade right here I have so many things in my hand. This kind of like purpley shimmery shade at the top. Put that all over my lid. Definite fallout in the pan, but it's a very pigmented shade. And it's going on really well with a brush. All right, just blending the edges on the bigger blending brush, which only has a little bit of that brown shade from blending it out, but it's not too much. So it's kind of creating a nice transition color. A little visitor here. Say hi, Hawk. He wanted to come in the room and now he's trying to rip up the carpet. So I'm putting him in my lap for a minute. We'll see how this goes. All right, now I'm gonna take this shade. He's licking my arm. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here. What are you? He's growling at my Ulta bag. Uh-uh. Anyway, now I'm gonna take this shade right here and just put this in the center of my lid. to define the crease. All right, next I'm gonna take this shade right here, this kind of black shimmery shade, and put this along my lower lash line. And for that, I'm using this e.l.f. smudge brush. Whoa, look how black that is. I'm gonna take a clean smudge brush and just kind of blend this out a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that black shade on this small blending brush and put this on my outer corner out here too, just to kind of balance out the lower lash line a little bit. And then a clean blending brush. This is one from BH Cosmetics. I'm just gonna clean up the edges with a little bit of concealers and one of my BS Mall brushes. And because I kind of created the definition eyeliner would have, I'm just gonna go in with some mascara and I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. All right, and then the last two products I have are lip products. And the first is this Coastal Scents lipstick in the shade two. I'm not sure what it's called. It just says two on here. And then the Coastal Scents Lip Tubes Lip Gloss. So I'm first gonna line my lips using this ColourPop lip liner. This is the shade Curvy. I look full on 90s right now. And this is what the packaging looks like. It looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay lipsticks. And this color is definitely out of my comfort zone, but we'll see how it looks on. I'm not sure what I think of this shade. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. But it feels really really nice you guys know my lips are super dry right now and this makes them look almost glossy I don't even need a gloss but because I want to test it I'm gonna apply this over top but just on its own it makes my lips look really hydrated which they are not All right now I'm gonna take this just clear gloss over top Ooh, squeezed out too much okay so this almost feels like Vaseline it's a super thick thick gloss but it's not sticky at all and definitely gives my lips a major shine. Okay, now that we have everything on, I'm gonna do a quick flash test. So good news, there's no noticeable flashback on either side of my face, so flashback test passed on this. But I'm gonna wear this makeup throughout the rest of the day and I will be back at the end to check in with you, let you know how the powder did and how all the other products did. So if you wanna see how everything wore, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so it's now the end of the day and I just wore a BB cream, so I'm definitely a little bit shiny. This is the Misha BB cream, who's surprised, with SPF of 45, so I always get a little bit shiny when I wear this. But I have to say, I feel like the side with the L'Oreal powder held up even better than the side with the number seven powder and you guys know that's like my favorite powder but I feel like I look less shiny on this side of my face than this side of my face so I'm overall really impressed by the powder 
minus the fact that it was balling up on me when I tried to apply it with a damp sponge, so do keep that in mind if you are interested in the powder. As far as this palette goes, I really, really love the blushes. Like these two shades, I feel like are gonna become two of my go-tos. I love those two colors. They're the shade Romance and the shade Flan, and I really like this type of palette for me, especially because I am a makeup artist, and being able to change out blushes and adjust the colors I carry in my kit is really, really nice. I'm not a huge fan of shimmery bronzers, so that's just a personal preference. The highlighter was okay, like I said, not blinding, but great for very subtle makeup days. This eyeshadow palette I think is really, really fun. And if you didn't want to spend the money on like that NYX palette that's super vibrant like this, I think this is a good alternative. You get so many really cool pops of color in here. I think it's a really, really beautiful palette and it's swatched really well, especially the shimmery shades. The only things I will say are that number one, it's definitely starting to fade. So pair this with a primer if you do use it and I think you'll be totally fine. And number two, the shimmery shades in here are so intense, so beautiful. I'm sure you saw in all the swatches that I did but the matte shades are definitely lacking a little bit, but there's only a couple matte shades in here, so overall, the pigmentation of these shadows is beautiful. The e.l.f. holographic highlighters are just not my cup of tea. They're definitely intense, they show up very pigmented, but they're just not my cup of tea. I would say if I had to pick a favorite though, it would be Blue Lagoon. I think that this light blue shade was the most beautiful out of everything that I swatched. So if you are into holographic highlighters, I would say go with this one. And I have to say out of all the Coastal Scents products I tried, the standout products were actually the lip products. Like I said, when I first applied this lipstick, it felt really nourishing. The color grew on me and I have eaten two meals and it is still there. And usually the trade-off with really nourishing lipsticks and lipsticks that aren't drying like matte liquid lipsticks are that you are not going to get the same level of staying power. But this one, I am really impressed by. My lips are still stained with the color. And like I said, the color definitely grew on me. As far as the lip gloss goes, I applied too much of it, so it felt really heavy. But I think if you go in with a little bit of a lighter amount of this, it would just add a beautiful sheen on top of the lipstick, and I can still see remnants of the gloss. So I'm impressed with the staying power of this as well. And those are kind of my final thoughts on everything. Definitely let me know what you liked down in the comments below and what you didn't like. And if there are any other brands like Coastal Scents that are a little bit less well-known that you want me to test out here on my channel, definitely let me know. And I'm overall pretty impressed by them, so I'll definitely be exploring more products because I like their price point. Given the price direction we've been seeing at the drugstore, it's nice to find brands like this that are staying really, really affordable. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next one.